Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Back to Jeff's Court. And welcome back to Ellen. Right? Ellen, yes. Um. No, don't turn it on. Remember? Oh, I hate this. Yeah, it just killed the cat. I mean, it just killed the cat. But, okay. Remember how I didn't know what to do? Well, yeah, I don't know what to do. And remember, we're working on that. Can't do anything with a portal. Can't do anything with a dolly. Can't do anything with that bookshelf. So, alright. If you remember correctly, we opened the door. We unlocked technically a new path. We got frustrated because the controls are jank. Um, there's nothing over here. Shit. Come on, James. Quit being a pussy. Um. Wait, hold up. Whoa. Uh, uh. No! I don't know what the key goes to. I don't. I can't put that anywhere. Alright. Okay. I don't know. Find the door. There it is. I don't want to waste. Ah. Ugh. Okay, hold up. My headphone cord is tangled in everything. Okay, so I'm wasting battery. I haven't found another battery. Can't use my coat for anything. This map is useless. Thanks, eyeballs, for staring at me. I can't go up there. There is footy prints, hand prints. There's whatever it is. That's nothing. Not useful. I have a key to a door? Oh wait, that does nothing. There's nothing there. Well, I can't pick up the key, it's broken. Uh, no. No! Can't use the key with that. Can't pick up the cat food. I could have saved the kitty if you would have let me pick up the cat food. Well, hey kitty kitty, come here. Okay. So, there's doors that I have key to. But I don't know what door needs the key. That's bar room. I can go into that. I can hide if I need to, but I don't need to hide. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Ah, uh, but it's a key! Dang it. Am I hallucinating? No, you're not. I have a key that I can't use. And it's frustrating. And of course, now that I'm playing a game, my cat's like, oh, I gotta be annoying. Don't do that to me. I don't think I can go this way. Oh no, this is where the monster that throws knives at me. Okay. I gotta wait for him to go away because maybe this is the key. I just have to make sure I don't get my eyeball stabbed out. Come back, bro. Ah. 
not the key to that office. I don't remember what happened last time. I know that I have stuff and I need to do stuff. That's all I remember. I have a key that apparently I can't use. God dang it, guy! I thought you were a detective. You should be used to running and stuff. Ah, uh, okay. I don't think there was anything this way. Uh. And well, no door is locked. Turn that off. I have a key to something. I just don't know what the key is for. Okay, so there's nothing else in here. Turn that off. Well, no duh, it's locked. Every button press is also a mispress, which is annoying. Right. I had to make this quick. There's nothing else here. Alright, get out of here. Because I don't have another battery. And I can't go anywhere that's dark because I don't have another battery. Uh, what else is this way? And can I go this way without dying? I don't think there's anything else up here, is there? Oh! Well, I found where the key goes. I don't like that I heard a sound. It's very dusty. Oh boy. Gah! That's not fair. Okay. Are you gonna keep following me? Or are you gonna stop at some point? Oh, come on. Okay. That was fun. I hate these controls, by the way. Uh, key's not useful. Great. Looks like the same lighthouse mentioned in Dr. Smith's letter, maybe. It's somewhere nearby. <laughs> I'm scared. What was that? Um, can I leave now? What was that? Oh, the body's gone. Oh, boy. Oh, no, you came over here. You're a dick. Alright. Well that, uh, yeah, there's progress. What did you say? The house plant. At least I can survive three more days eating. Okay. I wish I could reply. Uh, no, what was the other thing you said? Three more days eating plants. Oh. I mean, I found like 50 freaking plants in this house so far. Alright. I know there's a monster. And he will throw knives at me if I let him. But he also has a bookshelf near him that I can hide behind.
All right. Okay. Goodbye to him. I doth doth need another battery, though. Oh, I've already been in this room. Ah, crap. I don't know if I, how far he goes, because this key might be to that door. Nope, not. Ah. Uh, all right. Let's just keep chugging along. I am hoping to God that I do not run into a room that requires a battery. Or a flashlight, because my battery is gonna die. Because every time I try to back out of the menu with circle, I turn my flashlight on. I was like, no, I only press circle once. Alright, I'm kind of going to hope that guy that's down here went upstairs, but I doubt it. Because I think there's more than one of them. Chilly in here. This place could use some heat. Very detailed bookcase. Oh boy. It was given to Daniel Smith. Oh boy. Pill jar? Not sure if it was for the patients or it belonged to Mr. Smith himself. Oh my. There's a little red pin stuck on Mexico. Oh boy. Another thing. Please, uh, Doctor of Psychology. Someone was very proud of their achievements. Cassette tape, oh boy. However, I can fit it I can fit it somewhere. Good. Half filled by that's I need a battery, guys. Okay. First off, I found a couple paintings. Thingies. I think this was one of them. Oh, I broke it. Emily was known for her glowing smile and her kindness in the neighborhood at the White Hill. She was very open-minded and successful painter. Her paintings had been showcased at different local and it, it, ah, ah, come on, hold up. I know. I just wanted to go down. No, hold up. Okay. No. We already know about you. Terry was a sporty kid. Oh boy. Right? Okay. Ah! So she showcased at different local and international galleries. Occasionally she played piano. Didn't call herself the best at it when she compared it to her painting skills. Also belonged to a, a pretty strong family. Her father ran a local vegetable business and was fond of cards. Emily believed in life more than ever after she got married to Mr. Smith. She admired Mr. Smith's work and dedication towards his patients and always looked forward to taking motivation, motivation and inspiration, just not from her friends and family, but his life partner, Mr. Smith. From her life partner. Why did it say his life partner? She has told her friends that she was lucky to have a life full of memories and love. The decision of getting married to Mr. Smith was the time she'd like to live and feel over and over again. She dedicated and played a special piano tune to Mr. Smith the day they got married. Oh boy. Well, that was, that's cute. Um, what's this? Did I miss Terry. Um, apparently, there is a bookcase and there's a hole behind it. I need to figure out where that's at. Is that the only thing I got? Yes. I got notes though. Uh, no. Patient file Juan Carlos Rodriguez. I think that's the only other thing I got. The very first file I received just mentioned the first name, Carlos, since I was, or Carlos, since I was seeing many other patients without compromising the time I gave to him all my patients as it taking a case requires a lot of preparation and a good amount of time getting to know the patient. A couple of days passed and I received another patient's request with the same name, Juan Carlos. As usual, I wrote back and told the patient that I was 
swamped with patients and that if he wishes, I could put his name on the wait list. He would be notified as the time slot opens. Then on a fine Monday morning, I was having a cup of joe in my room and preparing some notes on my patients who'd be coming up to see me that day when Baron, not, when Baron knocked on the office door. He came in and handed me the file the third time. The patient name read as Carlos Juan Rodriguez, his full name. I couldn't say no to Carlos anymore. He was desperately trying to reach me. Perhaps he was in a lot of pain and really needed my help with something. His, his approach to me was surely unusual, but being a psychiatrist, I have met many different patients with a diverse set of situations and problems. I decided to make some time and start my session with Carlos as soon as possible. Baron took my acceptance letter and sent it to the same address from where the patient's request file came from. We got started the very next day, Daniel Smith. I think that's it. Yeah, because everything else I got. Yeah. Okay. That's new. I think that's the only thing that's new. Okay. Okay. I got a whole bunch of stuff, though. Uh, this, that, and that. But wait. Nope. Nope. Ah, it's not gonna be any good. Alright. That's a deer. That creeped me out a little bit. Pills! Maybe I can keep going this way? Just in case. I don't hear anything besides my heartbeat. I wish I could see what was over there. Okay, I might be fine. Wait, honey. Your favorite soup isn't ready. What? Well, that was weird. Okay, what's over here? I'm outside! Oh boy! Okay. Oh, shush. A rusty bucket. No, not useful. Oh my. I don't wanna go in there, it's scary. There's a shovel. There's planters. There's a hose. Maybe I should go in that little shed. Yeah, I know. Not coming this way, so maybe I'm okay. <laughs> Let's not and say we did okay. That's kind of scary. Kind of monstrous being is that? Kind of uh unsettling. Alright, I guess we go into the shed. Go into the she shed. God, that was weird. I'm gonna hide behind this tree. That's what I heard though. Creepy freaking douchebag. I found a thing, and a thing. Neat. Uh, 
holster. Oh, I can't. What is it though? I don't know what it is. Or what if, what if? Hear me out. Maybe it's a bad idea to hide on this side. Hear me out. What if we use this? No. What about if we took this off? Come on. Use this. Alright, well I guess that's not useful. I don't know what it's for, but alright. Everything has its use. Everything will find its place in due time. He makes me uncomfortable. Just saying. I'm glad he doesn't try to get me. Because if he tried to get me, that would suck. What is he over there? Oh, another bucket. Alright, well I guess... That's that. I'm not okay with that, but okay. Honey dearest, where is my soup? Hi, plant. Where is my soup? Why did I do this? I'm actually eating soup. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I shouldn't have ate the soup. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're zooming in. Uh oh. I did a bad. Uh oh. I did a bad. That's it. Game, you. Game, you, you. You made me feel like I was gonna die. But before I hit that door, I got another note. I found salt! Oh boy! <laughs> I picked up some salt! Uh. The family doesn't come together for lunch anymore. The food on the table keeps getting cold. The family doesn't come together for lunch or dinner. I have asked the family to have lunch and dinner at the right times and kept everything ready on the dining table, but more often than not, I end up eating alone. Once I managed to get the kids on the table at time for lunch, but Mrs. Smith requested to have her food served in her room, and Mr. Smith locked himself in his office on the pretense of work. As I neared his office, the smell of tobacco permeated the air. He had recently relapsed into smoking. Wow! What a guy. Mr. Smith was also taken, has also taken possession of the key to the basement door that leads to the backyard. Often it so happens that I go to check on the basement door to make sure that it is locked, only to find it ajar and Mr. Smith gone for a late night stroll. This worries me, since I'm not entirely sure if Mrs. Smith knows about his nocturnal excursion. Oh my! Turn that light off. We do not have the battery power to waste on that. I don't have anything to use on that. Ah, not useful. I could use the hammer. That plant. Yeah, but someone made me soup, and I'm very confused. 
I found another note. What note is this, pray tell? I don't know. No. Turn the light off. We do not have the battery power for that game. They need to update this game because this is getting ridiculous. All right, weed killer. Okay, okay. I might have finally got the solution to our little weed problem in the greenhouse. The exterminator told me that we got it early. That we got to it early. Should we have let it grow some more? It could have become very nasty. Luckily, we provided. He provided me with this weed killer recipe: 40 milliliters of white vinegar. I have that. 30 milliliters of plain alcohol. Got that. I think. And a spoon of salt. If you could provide the reagents, I will make sure the greenhouse will be completely weed free by tomorrow, sir. Baron. P.S. Do not mix the weed killer with any form of compost. The exterminator explicitly warned me for this. Oh! So. Did that. Stop it! God. We're gonna move away from the noise. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make ourselves a weed killer. Oh, I try stamina. Where is he? Yeah, I know. Okay. No. Uh Let's take off this and put on this. I have all the solutions I believe I need for this. Uh, do I need to find a bucket? Do I need to mix this in something? <sighs> All right. Hi, Mr. Scary Bunny Guy. I need to figure out a way to mix up a solution, and I don't know how. Is there a way to do it in here? See guys, I was so excited. So I was like, I can make the solution. I can't. I don't know what to make it. Ah. I was going to be like, oh, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to kill a plant today. Like, not like kill a plant, but kill a very dangerous plant. Eh. I don't like that sound. I don't want to sit down and eat some more. I want to see if I can't find something. You are out of shape, guy. Granted, you're more shaped than I am, but still. I found the recipe, the stuff for weed killer. I can make a weed killer. I just need to find something to mix it in, apparently. Mr. Stabby Doo. Probably have to go upstairs to find what I need to mix it in. Whoop! Sneak right past you. I've already been to the office, but I don't think there's anything to mix anything in in here. No, there wasn't. Okay. What I need is a battery. All right, we're ah, Mr. Out of Shape. Come on. Other games, people can run a lot longer than you. Come on. All right, I need to find something to mix this up in, and I might have to go upstairs for that. Bathroom, maybe. Bathroom, maybe. Bathroom, maybe. 
Cause maybe, maybe I could put it back in a bottle. Can I? Uh, press cross button to I don't, I have to add to the quick inventory. Uh, but I don't want to. All right. There's a bathroom. Ah, uh, that's not the bathroom. Oh. Okay. There's a toilet. Poop. Well, that was an idea. Shut up. I need some sort of thing to mix them in. That's what I need. Wait, there was a bucket. Hold up. It's a stupid idea. I walk. There's a bucket. Haha. Because it was dark, I couldn't see what the thing was saying, even though it could pop up, but no. My battery's almost dead. God, uh, I have a lever for something, and I don't know what the lever's good for. I have a hammer. I don't know what the hammer's good for. fan. Oh, a cassette player. An old school bag. So I need to clean this place. I cleaned it a long time. Duty basketball league. Looks expensive. Bought a bat. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh wait, I gotta take something out of my inventory. Well, because I don't know what it does yet. I want a battery in. Right? So that way when I use my thing, I have a battery. Oh. Oh! That picture! Right... Uh, I have to keep changing my inventory loadout around. Alright, let's take this out, put this on, and use that. Yeah! What's in the hold wall? Oh, you're wasting battery power, my dude. Please. Please what? So hungry. Terry died in here. Dad! What'd you do, Dad? Oh no! I found Terry! Terry better not get up and follow me. I'll be sad. Sad and scared at the same time. I am not sticking around for that sound. I don't like that I keep hearing a sound. No! 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 No, 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 no. Uh. Ah! Tear you 
asshole. Oh, ouch. Oh, thanks, Terry. Yeah, no shit. Oh, great. I'm living again. Yay. Be oh, boy. Where am I in this freaking house now? Oh, I'm here. I should... You, you should let me sit down. Well, that was exciting. All right. Well, I... Th <laughs> ah. Ah. All right. You bastard child. You made me hurt myself. All right. Well. <laughs> ah. Do you think this is a good place to stop? I think it's a good place to stop. Because uh, that was spooky. But guess what? Where is it? I have another key. I also have a letter. Uh, patient one goes one evening in the backyard. One evening I was playing in the backyard when I saw Daddy go out for a walk. I decided to follow him into the woods to surprise him. I followed him through the birches until we reached the graveyard. It was getting dark and I felt scared, so I started to turn back to go home, but then I stopped. Daddy was stooped over a grave. I realized that he was digging it up. A chill ran down my spine as I saw him take something from the grave. It looked like an arm. He brought it up to his mouth and started tearing into it. It was petrified, or I was petrified. In my panic, I stepped on a branch. He heard me. When he turned his bloodied face towards me, I lost it. I ran back home, terri too terrified to even look back. I burst through the front door and stood in the foyer, out of breath. Mommy saw me and hurried to my side, asking what happened. I must have looked terrible because she sounded quite worried. I ran to my room, shut the door, and hid under the covers of my bed, shivering. What had I just seen? Was it all just a nightmare? It must have been. Last night, Daddy came to my room while everyone was asleep. He woke me up and told me that he had found my cat had gone missing earlier in the day. I think Cookie went through the broken wall, he said. Could you help him out of the, of the shaft? I would go in myself, but you know, Daddy's a big guy and can't fit in the well. Oh, boy! Turn that off. And dude, you're stupid. <clears throat> and now I gotta walk all the way to the basement. Oh, good boy. Ah. Oh, that wasn't fun. I got scared by a corpse. They decided it wanted to come to life and say hi, and I wasn't ready for it to say hi. Yuck. Yeah, it would, huh? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I want to mix up the weed killer so I can kill that giant plant, but you know, I'm not allowed to. But, oh! No, I didn't either. <gasps> Wait, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Maybe. Maybe. Damn it. Now I can't run no more because I hurt my leg because I fell. Ugh. Because of course Terry would, you know. Terry, I know you died, but you need to you didn't need to come back to life to scare me. That's not cool, bro. Not cool, bro. Not cool. I was not okay with that. And now I get why. That wasn't there either. Don't go in the door. I wanted to investigate the marking that wasn't there the first time. That means strange things are happening to me. Ain't no doubt about it. A fucking lady, though. Soup's not ready yet. And then I go by the door. Soup's ready. Oh, boy. And I sat down and ate soup. And I thought I was going to die. Hey, that marking wasn't there earlier, either. Oh, I was like, oh, is there another battery? Yeah, well, no, duh. Oh, my! Would you... I... Yeah, I can remember. Now let me 
freaking equip it. It's like, cannot stop it. Um, we'll take this. Don't turn that on. Oh. We're outside. Oh my. Uh, green hose. Garden hose. Okay. So we're going to end it here. Because I think we've done enough today. Oh boy. Because watch. The big rabbit guy is going to fucking just be like. Haboo! And I'm like. No! So that's going to be fun. What if the big green or the big rabbit guy is dad? Ugh. Oh. Dad, no. <laughs> but anywho, I think I'm gonna end it here. We made great progress. I actually figured things out. I use big brain, and that's good. So, if you like this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Far not prairies whatsoever. We gotta keep the update any uh oddball, weird, nonsensical horror games that I find out in the woodworks. Or anything that I just might be playing. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. And until next time, have fun, stay safe, be cool, and please tell people I'm out of here. <gasps> ah, boop, boop.